All right. So next, uh, we're gonna learn how to uh, basically make a scatter plot of these data points of the marijuana and the other drugs. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, won't be much writing from here on out. Most calculator use. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over a little bit. And remember that uh, our data was in L1 and L2. And so what I want to do now, let's say I want to make a scatter plot. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit second y equals. I'm going to go to plot one and hit enter. I'm going to make sure that this is turned on. I'm also going to make sure I'm dealing with a scatter plot. Remember, I want to make a scatter plot. My x variable is again going to be marijuana, which is in list one. And my y value is going to be list two, or this other drug use. So the way to get L1 in there is hit second two. You can see it pulls it in there for me. Next thing we need to do is we need to make our window when we graph it uh, show all the data points. The way we do that is we hit zoom, hit uh, down until you get to zoom stat. Also, you can just hit nine. And you can see it makes a nice scatter plot for us there. Now, let's say uh, the scatter plot's nice, but we really want to see our linear regression uh, from our uh, linear, linear regression on that data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to second mode, go back to my home screen. I'm going to go back to, uh, actually I'm going to hit stat and calculate. going to go down to linear regression. Hit enter. I'm going to tell it uh, which list I'm dealing with, L1 and L2. Then I'm going to tell it, okay, I want you to take that linear regression line, okay, and I want you to put it in Y1, or I want you to graph it. The way you tell it to do that is you, you hit uh, VARS, go to Y VARS, hit Function, and then hit Enter on Y1. So this is going to put the linear regression equation in Y1. Hit Enter, you have to hit Enter. It will do it again, and now if you go to y equals, you can see it put in that formula for, there for you, which before it wasn't there. I'm going to hit graph, and looky there. There's our line of best fit, or least squares regression line. So that's how you uh, put your linear regression line in with your data. Now let's say uh, you want to uh, you want to plot the x values with the residuals. What we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, the first step you need to do if you haven't already done the linear regression is you need to do that. So again, just to make sure that we've done it, I'm going to hit stat calculate linear regression, okay, uh, and I'm going to hit enter, and if you just hit enter on that and don't, don't put L1 and L2, it's going to assume L1 and L2. Um, but if, for instance, your data is in other lists, you'll have to uh, put that in there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Y equals, which is here. I'm going to hit clear. Then I'm also going to go to, uh, now after I've done that, I'm going to go to second Y equals, second Y equals. I'm going to go to the plot. Again, hit enter. I'm going to make sure it's turned on. I want to, again, I want to scatter plot. And now instead of uh, putting... Uh, my other drug use in here. Remember, with a residual plot, we are dealing with we're dealing with our x variable here, and we're wanting to see the residuals plotted on the y-axis. So remember, if my scatter plot with x and y, or L1 and L2, was here and let's say it looked like this, a residual is the observed value y minus the predicted value y hat. So this is the residual of this given x. So uh, you can have both negative residuals and positive residuals. Again, this is the observed value, this is, or this is the uh, predicted value, this is the observed value. 
and this is the residual. So we're taking those residuals, the difference between both of those, remember residual equals y minus y hat. We're taking that value, given the x, given a certain x, it will have a certain residual value. So the way to do that, again, once you've run the linear regression, your calculator actually put all those residuals in a nice list for you. All you have to do is find it. So it's stat, actually second list, second list, go down to resid. Once you run that linear regression, it will put in a, this list of residuals and call it resid. Hit enter. Make sure it is under Y list. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go, you're going to hit graph, actually you're going to hit zoom, then you're going to hit stat, zoom stat. And we can see now we have a plot of our residuals. Notice that there is some that are positive and some that are negative. That's because we have negative residuals and positive residuals. If I want all of my residuals to be um, take the absolute value of that, if we want to have all of our uh, residuals to be the absolute value of the residuals, what I'll have to do is go to uh, second mode, clear everything out, hit second list, or actually just list, go to edit the list, then I'll have to go over probably to the last list, go up, hit clear and enter, then I'm going to want to say, okay, take a uh, Take that residual, all those residuals, and square them, or take the absolute value of them. So actually, let's just clear it out and hit second. Um, actually, math number. So it turns out, oh, there it is, absolute value. So if you hit math and then go over to number, you can do absolute value. So I don't want to do that twice. Absolute value of stat, second stat and residual. And you can see, there you go. So now all the absolute value of the residuals are there. Now if I want to plot the absolute value of the residuals, I go back to plot, hit enter. Now instead of saying residual, I want to use that list I just made, which was L6. Hit enter, hit zoom, stat, enter, and there you go. So you can see we have this, uh, everything seems to be smaller residuals as x is low, and then it comes back down as x increases. So again, this was how to, a uh, little tutorial on how to use your, uh, re your different functions in your calculator. Hope this helped. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do for you guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.